Hey, turn that fan on. You can turn that fan on. Hey, it's red. It means it's on. Okay, so yeah, red means we're going. We're going. Go. Okay. So I'm Mike. I'm Becky. And uh, you can call me beautiful or beau for short. Most people do. Go ahead. Hmm. People that's everywhere, people I know, they call me beau, short for beautiful. And then they sing a song about me too. What's the song? Beautiful, beautiful Becky. Beautiful, beautiful her. There's other verses, but I, I don't have, we don't have time for that. We don't have time for it. All right. So in the background, you can hear, hear, hear my little grandbaby. And she's giving Jamie kisses. Jamie kisses. She'll probably be in our lap in a minute. So we decided to do a vlog, okay? A vlog. So, With a V, not a B. Yeah. B as in Victor. And sometimes it's going to have some great stories, and sometimes it's, it's going to have Serious. some funny stories. Hi, sweetie. So, okay. and then sometimes it's going to have this cutie. I love you. Oh, I love you. I, yeah, that was really quick. See, she's, she sings that song. Yay. Beautiful, beautiful Becky. Beautiful, beautiful Gigi. Gigi? Gigi. She Gigi, goes. that's right. Beautiful, beautiful her. Hi, and who am I? I'm Poppy, right? Is that right? Yes, she's sick right now. She is. She's got but double this earaches. This is the best thing in the world is this little girl right here right uh, <laughs> oh, that was sweet of you say that was a kiss there you go <laughs> it was cute though so anyways we're gonna we're, we're gonna talk about we growing up chestnut basically that's what the vlog's called because we have being in a pastor's family we've had Man, we have a we lot got, of stories. We got stories not just about us, but about other people. I know. So we try not to <laughs> say names. We might show pictures, though. <laughs> I know. I think we should. I mean, we got a lot of these people. They'll they'll watch us to find out. Are they going to tell? Are our they going to tell that story? And probably we won't tell it exactly the way because we're good at embellishing. It's called we we do we are growing up chestnut, but we are part reader. And my mom, oh. mom could tell the story better than anyone because she made it stretch every time she told the story it was better and i love the nobles family always <laughs> loved to come to our house because the mom story. would get up and enter she yes. not only she for stood them, up to tell her she acted it out yeah mama when mom stands up to tell a story you know it's everybody needs to be quiet because she's serious yes so we get we get you would think we get that from dad being and being the pastor but no. really our storytelling comes from mom 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 so yeah. But one of the things that started this off was, you know, a lot of stuff that I didn't even know about with our family. And I'm so young. I'm younger than you. And how, how do I know these stories? Becky's the oldest, by the way. No, I'm not. Greg is. And he's not here to just... No, Greg looks the oldest. Yeah, Greg does look the oldest. Life's been hard for Greg. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Could you imagine if he was in, in in the vlog with us? Oh, my gosh. We would be in a fight. Well, not really a fight. No, he would start singing. The day he yeah. wore my crown. Oh, yeah. Greg would be singing it. <laughs> Greg would be singing it. And playing guitar. Yes. Or the harmonica. Yes. So, anyways, so it's not about Greg. But it's, he'll probably be here one day and we'll. We'll do it. Yeah. So, so let's tell a story. So, what's, what's one of your your favorite stories? My favorite story? Yeah. My favorite stories are always mom's stories. Mom's? I mom. miss mom. And my, one of my favorite stories, I tell this all the time, is I think I was like eight or nine, probably nine, and we built a new church. We used to, uh, when Dad came to Oswego, we had a church that was in the uh, schoolhouse. Do you remember that? Yeah. It was in the gymnasium. The you were like five in the gymnasium. And anyway, our church built a really beautiful, a beautiful building. But um, we did have, you know, it's a first church, and the deacons kind of ran it. And so when they got a pastor, they didn't know how to relinquish and share the the love. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and we had um, uh, the deacon that always, always, he did not like mom and dad by any means. And he would always go around saying, so what did you think of Listen, that message was a little bit too long, wasn't it? I mean, I was like, you know, and there, or he would say, was that, too, that, did he study? That was so short. I mean, you know. Yeah. And uh, he would go on and tell stuff. And then some people would, you know, get to mom and dad. But dad was just like, Psh, 
you know, but mom, whoo, whoo dog. And that, that's called reader blood. Yes. That's reader it's blood. It's a reader right? women. We, we just call it reader women. But anyway. Now this was at the beginning of. Yes, of their ministry, of their ministry, yes. Uh, we, I know we just got into the building. I don't know how long we've been in the building. But anyway, mom was in towards the front, and she was talking to some church members. And I remember this one. And chatting away. We had just come from vacation, yes. if I remember correctly. I think so, yeah. And it was, they wanted, dad and mom wanted, and uh, some other people wanted to start a Christian school, wasn't it? yeah. And, and so it and caused conflict. Church. It caused conflict. And I mean, it and worked out that that didn't happen. And we could, dad, and mom, and, and when dad tells the story, you and mom tells the story, you can tell that it's, it really wasn't what God wanted. But this one deacon. The way he went about yes, it. Yes. I don't think he even cared with one way or he's one way or the other, which way it went, just whatever mom and dad wanted. He, he was going to he do the opposite. the opposite. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, mom was talking to some of the church members up front. And, um, you know, I'm just minding my own business. I'm like 12. I don't know how old I'm 12, I guess. And I, rem um, I remember this because I was young. Oh, I, I, was, was, I wasn't even 12. I think because I think I was You're probably about, five, about six, maybe five, six, because mom had walked me before mom would go to choir. Yes. She would go march me to the front row to sit. And that's when this took place. And then this what, long story short or short story long, okay. he comes up to mom. And is patting her on the back, rubbing her back, and goes, "Oh, don't you just love Pat? We love Pastor Ron. We just love." Oh, my we sure missed you. And we, all yeah, that. we missed you and all this. And my mom's <laughs> mom could make faces. You know, she'd do oh, that. she was. Good oh, at yeah, that. she was going. She's good, and she starts turning around to the members and to me. She even did it to me. I don't know if she did it to you. I was. I was. She had my hand, and she was going, "It's a." Is there the knife? Did he put that knife in my back? Is it twisted? And she's going around asking everybody, can you get that knife out of my back that he just put in? And he, she was not going to stop. She was just going And I on. remember because I was, I was young, and I'm literally thinking this man stuck a knife in mom's <laughs> back. And I remember I'm going, I'm, I'm mortified. And mom, you're not giving it enough credit because mom's going, oh. Ooh, somebody right. get that oh, knife yeah. out of oh. exactly And right. he said, Miss Rella, and she, oh, it's going because, deeper. He goes, that hurts. He goes, we love you guys. And, you know, and she would just keep going. And my, I think Dad finally had to step in, and he didn't want to. It was back that was the, the pre-show before yeah, before I, Dad preached. He was like in the, he was talking to somebody else, like in the lobby or so, in the foyer and, uh, or something. And he finally had to step in, like he did on many occasions. But Could you imagine what it must have been like for him? After that happened, now he has because that was a Sunday morning. Now he has to go up and preach a sermon after. Well, I, I've never thought about that. How this, how did that? And mom and dad tried to keep. Greg and I were nosy, and I still am. Greg says he's not, but Greg's nosy. We're all Greg nosy. and I were. We are. Greg is nosy. We are all nosy, and because it's excitement. You don't, we didn't have the things to entertain us like we do nowadays. You right. Know? And so you know, this was like oh, mom. Mom is, you know, doing this, you know. So anyway, this deacon always gave him trouble. And we were young, but we were we were all like in the car, mom and dad would talk and they would try to keep it down on the down low. Right. And um, but we were like, you know, listening and uh and then dad go, Why don't you guys sing a song or something? And he usually wanted us not to sing a song. If we sang, he always said, Can you at least sing the same song? Because <laughs> we would always be singing something different. But anyway. They, uh, we always knew who they were talking about. So they started giving him names. One of them was Banny Rooster. Well, that was easy. Greg and I figured Banny Rooster out real fast. Then it was, then they gave him a name, but they, the name they gave him, they started giving him LH. And Greg and I were like, who is LH? But you do it by process of elimination because. So you guys are smart. I, I was young. I, well, I didn't you, care. I didn't care less. Well, and they were well. We were bored, and they had some of the deacons like mom and dad, but they were they were conflicted because, and some of the members because this guy was he was a leader. He was a leader, and yet they all they liked mom and dad, right? And they just were, but he had led them till dad got there. So I guess he was really kind of threatened in some ways. I don't know, but anyway, so for years, I mean, not years, but for days and months, L H and. What in the world? But we figured it had to be him. And we knew it was him. And so we figured out. So, you know, we talked about and, and 
we'd sit around the table and we're like, okay, you know, or mom and dad would be talking over in another corner. But we're like, that's, you know who that is. That's so-and-so. That's so-and-so. We're like, and mom and dad are like, how did they figure it? Because they tried so many things to change, but it was the same guy. It was like the same guy. That's for one reason. Right. But the LH, years years later, I told mom, what? What, what was LH? I never I knew if I'd ask her then, she wasn't going to tell me. And she said, because he was short. This guy was short. So they called him Little Hitler. And that is what LH meant. So they gave him, gave, but they gave everybody names and then they would do initials. So, because, you know, we really shouldn't have known. We didn't. Right. I mean, we didn't have no business knowing, but that, except that we were nosy. And what were we going to do with that information? But you know what's funny? You know, I, I, people don't get when you're a preacher's kid. I remember a certain person um it was, <laughs> we'll it, was song, it was a, one of our song leaders actually and they had they would have us come over um on sunday afternoon and stuff <laughs> and a lot of time it was because she wanted to know what mom and dad were saying were saying about them if they were talking about them well you and greg were smart to that and you guys would be like Shh, no, kicking no. you under the table. Yeah, <laughs> but she would give me candy, so I would make up stories <laughs> of what mom and dad were saying about her because I just wanted more candy. More candy, and so she was getting mad, mad and I'm so I was getting fat. And mom and dad were going, "What? We didn't, where are you getting this from?" I think mom got onto it too. Mom, mom figured it out too. Yeah, so because we didn't after that. We didn't go over there anymore. Hi there, baby girl. You got something to say? Come here. Oh, did you drink out of the dog dish? Was it good? Hi. Did you get some water? She just wanted to come and say hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Say, hi. say I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, go go see go see Nina. One of my Nina. favorite stories though involves um we weren't quite old enough to stay home by ourselves. Yeah. Miss McCuddy. The, what was her name? Miss McCullough. Miss McCullough. And they were like, she was a missionary. They were missionaries years and years ago. I didn't know that. Yeah. But we lived in Boulder Hill and she started coming to church. Her husband died and she started coming to our church. And um, she didn't know how to do anything. I mean, literally nothing because. I know she, she couldn't cook. She No. That's where we're going, going it. But, but to set the stage, because I like to tell the story and I like to stretch and embellish. Oh, um, I try to ruin the story. Then. You know, it's back in the day when you had uh, three channels. Yeah. And UHF channels. Yes. Well, she didn't know how to run that, how to turn the. She didn't know about UHF. She didn't, but because her husband died, and he did all. You know, he he watched TV. She really didn't watch that much TV. But when she wanted to, so she's telling dad it was broken. So dad, uh, dad, mom went over there. Of course, most time us kids were. She used to call a lot. Didn't yeah, she? she called a lot, and she didn't live too far from us when we lived in Boulder Hill. And I remember she didn't know how to run the vacuum cleaner, and it wouldn't picking up. And it was mom had to show her how to change a change the. Mom goes, "Well, where are your bags? Your bag is full. Bags, you know." She was one of those like. Wow. So she was really like mom and dad, but yet she would. Lila. She was a stinker. Like she would stab him sometimes every once in a while. And they, but mom and dad took care of her. But anyway, long story short or short story long, years later, we were teenagers and mom and dad were going to a, a retreat of some sort. And um, so us kids were kind of excited because we're thinking, you know, that maybe we get to stay by ourselves, but that wasn't going to happen. And uh, then I thought of other people that we we're going to get, maybe get to stay at the light Lightfoots or something, you know. Right. No. Yeah. They had her come and stay with us oh, for a week. That was terrible. Week. That was. I still. I. Still, that's one of my first recollections of of. <laughs> yes. You know, because I was pretty young then, but I remember that because. Well, I I don't like rice she was pudding a, to this day. She was a nasty cook, but we could. I mean. It, I guess I shouldn't say nasty. It was nasty. It was, it was, it was horrible. Nasty. But we would eat it and we just, but Michael, she would put, put it in Michael's plate where we and Greg were like, oh, oh. we would try to grab it first and put it on our Dip plate. Their own plate. Yeah. And then like, mm, that's so good. And, you know, uh, then try to get rid of it when she was like, walk out of the room or something. But anyway, Greg was she the made, 
rice pudding. We never had rice pudding. Mom never made rice pudding. I never had rice pudding before. And she was going to make this rice pudding. And I'm like, she goes, you want well, I'm thinking rice, which, you know, it's rice pudding. So anyway, which I guess that's what it was. But anyway, she makes this rice pudding. And she makes a big bag of, I mean, a big bowl of it or a uh, pan of it. And um, so she gives us all some. That's supposed to be our dessert. It's like, had no flavor, really. It was just nasty. And the texture, it was we weren't horrible. used to the texture. And the texture was so nasty. The flavor was nasty, not there. I didn't know if we needed sugar or salt. What 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 you needed? It looked like um almost like oatmeal, like um almost like grits. Hers did. I and I've seen it since, and it doesn't look like that. Up to that point, I don't think I had ever had a food I didn't like. Yes, probably not. And and I knew I did not like that. Well, so Michael, we you know, mom and dad, you don't you don't say anything bad about anybody's cooking. You were just always <laughs> polite and. So anyway, she's like, Mike goes, this rice pudding, and I don't know if it was Greg or me, one of us kicked you under the table, and he goes, it's so good. <laughs> and she took another spoon <laughs> and put it on my, in my bowl. I was so mad. And so she was, Michael had to eat it because she put that in the bowl. And so when you, when she put food on your plate, you had to eat it all, which understandably so. So, but me and Greg were, we were trying not to laugh in front of her, but when she walked out of the room, we were like rolling. So when she got, when mom and dad got home, she told them that Mike was, Michael wouldn't eat the food, he didn't eat all this food. And she made rice pudding. Becky and Greg ate the rice pudding. We didn't though. I don't remember what we did, how we got you out of it. threw it away. I don't remember, but probably, I do because I couldn't. But we watched, you were, you never watched. Me and Greg were always watching our back. We always. Well, I was young. I was expecting we you to We were young. Back. We learned it from long time ago it's just in our genes i guess we we had the the look the sneakies. Out. yeah the sneakies but anyway so dad dad's getting after us cuz uh we didn't eat what we wanted to eat and mom mom was like well they've never had rice pudding roy and he's a like, rice pudding eat it they don't know what's good for him blah, 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 blah. and so dad grabs it and he's like he gets a bowl out and he's eating he's yeah, getting he's ready to eat he's telling us off and he was just going, you kids, that's the thing. You're spoiled. This kid's nowadays spoiled. So he goes, he takes his first bite and he went, and he starts and he goes, turns around in the sink, spits it out, runs some water. And we, mom and mom and I, we, we all laughed. Yeah. We never let him and dad live goes, that I down. didn't know you could ruin rice pudding. <laughs> you know what's funny? I never had rice pudding until uh, five years ago. It was, I was working at the prison. I wanted to And they it. made some rice pudding. Really? And I was like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. And. <laughs> It's, I, I told the story, so someone said, and it was good. Is that terrible? That rice pudding made in a prison was better than the <laughs> rice pudding <laughs> well, this morning that, yeah, made at of, church. And yeah. I'm like, wow. But I will say this, because Aiden, my grandson, my oldest grandson, he told me um, when he was in second grade, he learned that every seven years your taste buds change. <laughs> and you know how you didn't like something when you were little? Yeah. And then later on you liked it? So maybe that's what was going on with you. Yeah, it took several. No, I, I bet you the years. I bet I bet the prison was better though, because yeah, she was she, she was couldn't good. make anything. I don't. Miss Lightfoot was the best. Oh my cook. gosh, she was a short order cook. Ma and mom would get so. I think mom would get her feelings hurt sometimes because we like to I, I, I would mom tell was a good her, cook. Call, no, you you got to make it like Miss Miss Lightfoot makes it. Yes, and she. I remember one time I made her. She had to call Miss Lightfoot. Mike won't let me make my grilled cheese sandwich. How do you make it? He <laughs> wants me to make it just like you make it. <laughs> and you know what's funny is what it was was Miss Lightfoot would cut mine a yes, certain way. She was cutting it. You know? She slanted it. Mom cut straight. You wanted yeah. it. She did it in diagonal. We got, we were always impressed by that because our mom just went. And it's, I would like go to school and the people who had their like in a yeah. sideways. I'm like. But Miss Lightfoot always gave me pork and beans too. Oh yeah, well, which we knew not to do that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> chestnuts and pork, pork and beans don't mix. Not no, really, not really good. So. But um, she was like, you would go over there, and she would eat like she would make you whatever you wanted. Like, oh, and she I'm like, spoiled me. We don't. She spoiled everybody. In our home, we did. We ate what we what was on there. Mom, mom was a good cook. Mom was a great cook. So it was very rarely anything we didn't like that mom cooked. But when we went over there, 
this is how he was a he was a, a butcher. Mr. Lightfoot was? Yeah, you didn't know that. He no, worked I for Kroger's. I didn't know yeah. what he did for a living. Yeah, his I thought he was a car mechanic. Why do you think they always had steaks? That's where I learned to love steak. I never ate steak at because, their house. I always had grilled cheese. And they had, she would. that's where she would make homemade, uh, every day, homemade fries. It seemed yeah. like it was every day. I don't know if it was. But anyway, so when we'd go there, Cindy would tell her what she would want. And I and I would always usually get what Cindy wanted or what Danny, so, you know, because that's what they were having. So I just have it. And so one day, I don't know, like, I like, somehow they found out I like steak. And so from I got brave. And so every time I go over there, I'll just have a steak. <laughs> I had steak. I loved going there. Really? So I get steak and French and homemade French fries. See, she had it easy with me. Oh I was always gosh. like, I always wanted grilled cheese. She's the one that pierced my ears, you know. Yeah, I remember that. With the <laughs> with an ice cube. Yes, and a needle. And a needle, yeah. Yes. She burnt the, the needle and stuff. Yeah. Well, she did it pretty straight too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's wow. called trust. We that was she was our second mom, pretty much. She was. Yeah. She was. She just passed away this past year, wasn't yeah. it? Not too long ago. Yeah. She was everybody's favorite babysitter. Yes. You know, so. She even babysit my kids. I got pictures of um, a couple of years back when we went for homecoming for dad. With yeah. the valley. And I got pictures where we went right to I know, her. I saw them. I was so jealous. I would I love to have seen her. I know. So, well, I guess that's enough stories for t for today. But yeah. I want to I hear the story about next time about the ghost in the house. Okay. Because I don't know that story. That's that's dad's story. So yeah, and mom, mom, mom admitted that that yeah. Wow. So, anyways, hope you like <laughs> hearing a little bit of our stories. Um, we got plenty more. If you're oh, bored. we got a lifetime. Yeah. Now we're gonna we're gonna go on Facebook see who didn't watch us and we'll <laughs> figure out what stories we can on them. Yeah. You know. Oh, I got some stories. All right. Bye. Bye. Jamie, we said bye. You're not turning it off. Are you going to edit this part? We're going to have to because, I mean, we'll have to edit the whole You hear her dropping pots and, and pans. And the, back, the backdrop is, is kind of wrinkled. we got to fix it.